Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got the sun in my eyes and we're going out to pull some soul nets with Matt. So stay tuned, gonna be a new one for me, a good cool little experience, and hopefully we load up on fish and not seaweed. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Matt's got a nice fancy new trailer. Look at that bad boy. Works a treat, eh? Yeah, posh, yeah. Living the good life. New winch. And he's also got a new new engine as well. What a beauty. Yeah, hopefully there's a lot of soul around. But chances are there could be a bit of weed, spider peeler crabs, ray, there could be anything of these. And I've never done a soul net or anything before. So it's a cool experience for me. Interesting. We've got one tram out, and then we've got a uh, a four inch sole net as well. Super dinghy fishing at its finest. Beautiful, easy. He's built this trailer for ease of use. I tell you, it works an absolute treat that thing. GU 117. Matt does a, a lot of commercial netting, as you can see, a super thing he's designed for it. He's got big, big round gunnels, nothing in the way. Yeah, makes a little bit of a living out of this too. Lovely job. So, we'll see you on the way out there, guys. Hopefully, we can get some big old solies. And we're off. What a day. Flat car, mate. Nice. Yeah. Not like yesterday, it was a little bit splashy. What a day to be out. That's the soul net then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're gonna pull the trammel net, which is up here. I'm gonna pull that one first, sort it out, and then we're on back down to the uh, soul net after. Come on, fish. First net of the day. Put our okay. This is a trammel net, guys. You've got big squares with a, a smaller mesh, and they, they go through and bag themselves up. So it's not so much like a gill net. <laughs> Oh yeah, big ballas and a sole. Two, two sole in there. Well, that's a good sign. It is. I see white down there. Soul. Soul. Hope you can see that, guys. There's colour down there. I thought it was just a ring. Yeah. Oh, that's a ring. That's a ring. Nice ring. What's this coming up then? Is that a ray or? Ooh. Oh. Electric ray. It's an electric ray. Yeah. Nice. I've always wanted to film one of these. Look at that beauty. Can't feel no shocks yet. They give a big boot then. I might stick on your tongue and find Yeah. <laughs> this is a marbled electric ray, guys. That's a beast. What a cool fish. Ah, what a cool creature, eh? Look, I see him convolt in there. He's letting out a charge right now. These things will give you a big electric shock. Oh, that's a first first for the for a video, that's for sure. And he's off. 
And we got soul coming up as well. Still soul. That's a good start, mate. Yeah. More soul coming up. And a place. Nice. Bigger place than what I normally see. Yeah. I don't expect it to be any bigger than that maybe. Nice if it did, but. <laughs> Under net one. Yeah. Come on. We got about six sold there already. Yeah, about that. Few been wrecked by a crab. Yeah, yeah. And problem with spiders, eh? Come on, you beast. Another salt. Uh, keep that one. There you go, this is what we're after guys. It's a sole. Spider peeler. Yep. Oh nice. Beauty. It's a nice big one as well. Nice bit of bait right there. Ooh, something coming up there. It's a nice one. It's a fat one that. Another one coming up. Another soul leak. Yeah, there's a pain on that one, eh? In an ideal world, you'd set soul nets like bang on the dock. Yeah, yeah. And pull it to a flight. That makes sense. Even then, you still get crab eating them. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not as much crab as I thought there'd be. Nice. Ooh, another net. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that coming up? See a big bit of colour there. Is that another hoss or is it a big play, yeah. Ray? Oh yeah, Ray. Nice. Nice one, that. Shanker. The shanker as well. Big female. Look at the size of that for a female spider. That's a beauty. Another hoss. Small one, soul. Using a soul. Good job. All right, first net is up, guys. Now we're going to go back, sort it out. Is that what we're doing, or are we picking the next one? Pick one All right, we're picking the next one up. Then we're going to sort them out. <laughs> we got Ray in there. There's quite a few soul in there as well. There's a place in there, and a few other bits for pot bait for Matt. Job done. That's brilliant. Small one. Right, soul net. See a soul straight away. <laughs> Literally a soul straight away. Nice one. That's more like it. That's a lovely one, that. Come on. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. Sort of lays in them, eh? I see colour. Yeah. Nice size as well, eh? That's a restaurant size right there. Nice coming in. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Just about got that one. He's hooked in the tail. Caught in the tail. There's more coming up. Definitely more coming up, I can see colours out there. Three white dots. Got a little face. Got a little colour on them. Nice 
Guys, little blonde bro. Come on, 
Beauty of a place that one. Look at the markings on it. Nice. <laughs> nice turbot. That's a lovely place. Look at the markings on that. Beauties. So there you go, guys. That was my first time pulling in sole nets. And we've got turbot, sole, ray, bull hoss, all sorts of stuff. We even had a marbled electric ray, which was a really rare one. That's a beautiful place, that one. Ah, stoked for him. Lovely. So what Matt does, guys, is all we do is drive up to the bongo up there. And then we sort the net over the gunnel. So it's a lot easier to get the seaweed out and all the spider crabs. And then anything we don't want goes back in the sea. And then the rest goes to market where, well, Matt's got customers. And it all gets sold. And we're going to keep a sold for a catch and cook in this video as well. And I think Matt's going to have the turbot for tea. Why not? Lovely stamper fish we've had, eh? All the keepers in there? Yeah. It's my live well. Yeah, got a live well for them, look. <laughs> Spark in my finger. Right. Little place. Amazing how God designed the place to get caught in that. Yeah, yeah, one little spike. There you go, guys. Yeah. That's the size, the sole that you want. Those are the restaurant sizes. It's about the pound and a half mark. And that's what Matt will get the best price for. And we've got a lot of these sizes in here, so. That's ideal. We've done one bit of the net. We've still got a mound to go, but we're starting to rack up some fish in that cool box now. And as you can tell, I'm no expert at getting sole out of a net, so I'm learning as I go. There we go. That. Proper eating size fish, eh? Perfect. Just give them a little show there. So as you can see, starting to rack up some sole there like really good stamp of fish they're all very average size got a couple of bigger ones as well beautiful it's under here look it's twisted up
that. That's a prime soul right there. The good thing about coming to a beach, just to sort the nets, all the small stuff, swims away for another day. Look, he's surfing on the surface. Check that out. He'll soon swim down and find his way. There you go. It's a keeper, but it's a bit small. Matt likes to keep the bigger stuff. Good amount of fish in there. One of the biggest soles of the day there. That's a fat one, eh? Beautiful. Ah, that's a beautiful fish. Great stamp though, like the average today has just been like pound and a half to two pound fish. It's what you want when you're doing soul nets, that's for sure. But we nearly finished this bucket now and then we're on to this last one where there's small eye ray, there's huss in here. And then just a load more soul in place, I think. But anything cool comes up, make sure we film it. So there you go, guys. The only bream of the day. Shows the uh, diversity in nets. They're actually very very selective in what they're getting but like these lay very flat on the seabed so you don't catch a lot of bream bass anything like that it's more so for the flat flat fish that are laying on the sand and obviously you get a little bit of bycatch but for the most part it's very selective there you go guys <laughs> didn't get much bycatch in this today apart from the spider crabs but when I saw husk that go for pot bait Pretty good. That's probably got to be close to a double weight. Yeah, nine eight, pounds? Eight, nine pounds. Yeah. A lump. Alright, we'll give you guys a show of the catch in a second. Matt's just getting the last sole out. We're good to go. Check this out, guys. Not a bad haul, that. I think there's three place, four place. We've got four place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 21, 22, 23, 24. My counter might be off a bit, 25, 26, 26 soles. And a really good stamper sole though. A lot of these are really big ones. Beautiful. So we're gonna take one of these home for a catch and cook. Matt's gonna go to the fish store and sell his catch. And everyone's on a winner. Everyone's packed away, ready to go. Thanks for having me out, mate. No problem, mate. Much appreciated. That's a fine amount of fish. Nice little experience doing some soul nets. Check this out, guys. I've been looking forward to this cook up, that's for sure. Look at the size of that sole. All of them were about this average. Beautiful size, about the pound and a half to two pound mark. We've got loads of fresh ingredients. I'm gonna keep it simple for a fish like this. So we've got all of our ingredients ready guys. We've got some parsley, some black pepper, oregano, so some chili flakes, sea salt, we've got some fresh lemon, Guernsey butter as always, some red onion, and some fresh garlic. So what I'm gonna do is slice the garlic up, and all we're pretty much doing is gonna put some slits in the fish, and then just smother the fish in this, and all the ingredients will just soak through it. Just a couple of small slit just down the fish makes it cook evenly but also all of our ingredients will go straight into it will soak into the meat so we go a little bit of oregano there and this is as simple as it gets a little bit of chili flakes soul goes really well with a little bit of spice and we got black pepper put that all over there as well a little bit of parsley for a little flesh a little fresh flavour there. And now for the good stuff. We've got some red onion just going over the top. 
I would say don't put too much onion because it can overpower things. And we got our lovely blocks of Guernsey butter. All that's left now is just our bits of garlic. Couple of slices of lemon on top. I'm gonna put the whole lemon on top, why not? And that is it. That is pretty much all you gotta to do to sol. It's just pile a load of ingredients on, wrap it up in the tin foil, and we are very much good to go. So this, I'm not sure how long sole take to cook. It depends how big the fish is. So what I do is just keep cooking. I'll give it probably 20 minutes in the oven. Then I'll check it with a fork. If it starts flaking off the bone, then it's done. Check that out for a bit of perfection. Oh yeah. That has just been stewing in there. Check this meat out. Good thing about flatfish. It all just flakes away like that. Look how beautiful and white that meat is. Ooh, we'll be looking forward to this. My mouth has been absolutely watering smelling this. Ooh. And look at that for white flesh. No bones. All of the all of the bones just fall out of this thing. It's such a delicate fish. It's not like bream and stuff where it's quite firm, you know? This is a very like soft, delicate, flaky fish. Mmm. And all those spices we put on top of the butter just soak straight through the meat. There you go guys, look at this. Just falls away from the bone. Just pull the skin back and the meat just comes off. There's no bones in that, you can see all the bones there. Oh yeah, if you ever get the chance to try flatfish guys, it is highly recommended. It's such an easy fish to cook as well. Like You can really spoil flatfish by overdoing it. Making a big fancy dish for no reason. All you need, a bit of garlic, butter, some uh, lemon and a few herbs and that's it. You can have it with new potatoes, whatever you want, a bit of veg. I, I prefer to cook fish and just eat it as it is. But that's just my preference. Mm. Right guys, I'm going to absolutely destroy this. So stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Something very different. So I've never done a sole net before. I will be doing them in the future because uh, there's plenty of sole around. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in more videos, see what else we can get. Next time we get an electric ray, I may do a sting test just to see how much the, uh, the bolts really are. We'll see about that one. So stay tuned. Big thanks to Matt for taking me out as always. It's always a really fun trip uh, going out there and just seeing what he catches. So big shout out to him. If you want any merch, that I'm wearing underneath here. <laughs> the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, like and subscribe button, guys. There's gonna be plenty more to come. Hopefully we get some more souls so we can eat them all. Mmm. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm.